Adumine nyako pong no yadana se se ene deisu eura de aboye humbai na washe yensu odafu baby auti baby eura de asumge enkamunina whatever you are hearing me may the peace of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ be with you. All. It's a new day, brand new day. The day the Lord has set aside to honor us and to favor us. Hallelujah. Brethren, the Lord, our theme for reflection today is God's command. God's command. 1 Timothy 1, 5 to 7. God's command. 1 Timothy 1, 5 to 7. Bible says the goal of this command is love, which comes from a pure heart and a good conscience and a sincere faith. Some have departed from this and have turned to meaningless talk. They want to be teachers of the law, but they do not know what they are talking about or what they, what they so confidently affair. Hallelujah. So, people of God, after apostles' directive to his prestige, he lays out the goals of this correction. Timothy is to give to the Ephesian Christians. And the first goal is to love. The goal of this command is love. Bible say ya no do ye hun ye hun. Ebra ye su kono se a shade fufro en amede mamo. Se mono domo humo hun. A new commandment I am giving you that love one another. Oh God. So the commandment of God is love. And not just ordinary love, but we are talking about agape love. We are talking about the unconditional love. O do kuri ye yin, o do abribi ye si hun. And that's why John 3, 16 says, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believes in him should not perish, but have eternal life. So the goal of this command is love. Why Paul isn't specific on the exact direction of this love? Is including love for God and love for each, love for other Christians. So the love you are talking about is only love for God. So we do not go on. Now we turn we near to be true. We can say, "O do not go on now. O turn in near. O ye o turufu. O nyami a wunu na o dono. We ni a wunu die. O no no. Na nyami a wunu na o dono. So people of God." The love, the command of love you are talking about is your vertical love with God and your horizontal love with mankind. And that form the cross. The cross of Jesus represent the vertical love and the horizontal love. So this isn't a new command. Jesus told us the world will know we are his disciples by our love. John 13, 35. And then he said, Bema, a command, you know, or share, Bema, ya do ye hon ne se. E ni pa be hon, we ase be hon se. Ya do ye hon ye hon. En ema, we ase hon se, am pa. En krofi ye ba kon. That the world will know. That the world would know we are his disciples. So apparently what was happening in these congregations, some teachers began to consider themselves sages. 
and would try to expound some kind of deep truth, but they really didn't understand what they were so definitely proclaiming. There's a powerful warning for us who teach why Paul is going to return to this letter to letter to Timothy. It's introduced here. Don't depart from the point of biblical teaching to get caught up in meaningless talk. Remember, this is meaningless talk. Possess content, but it was empty of conviction and application. So, there are a lot of sermons, lessons, and talks and preaching today. The same place we have content, but I really don't know what we are talking about. The command the Bible talks about is a command of love. It comes from a pure heart and good conscience. May God bless others, all of us. May His grace be sufficient for us. May you may, may we walk in the ways of God. In the name of God, who alone is Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. I'm Reverend Foster for for Minister of Pretorian Church of Ghana, Minister in Charge of Revival and Resurrection Congregations. Peace and life to you. Bye-bye. Bye.